First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rokha Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to the Akim pushing his truth and sincerity. So, as you see right here on the screen, it says, Why hasn't the U.S. apologized for Hiroshima and Nagasaki? And I would usually play the video, but you get copyright claims. So I'm going to go ahead and just um, read the transcript. Okay, it says, It's been 77 years since the United States dropped atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, killing tens of thousands of civilians and injuring tens of thousands more. But one question has always lingered. Why hasn't the U.S. ever officially apologized for acts that many have deemed war crimes? It says there are few theories as to why the U.S. has refused to offer a formal apology. First, that it's either us or them mentality. In 1995, President Bill Clinton said no apology was needed because the bombs ended World War II, agreeing with several of his predecessors that the decision saved countless American lives. American textbooks have advanced the narrative that the bombs were dropped to end the war. And if they hadn't been, U.S. forces would have been forced to invade Japan, leading to many more American casualties. However, according to Current Affairs magazine, the diplomat... Um, the diplomat, the U.S., had other options to secure Japanese surrender, like formal negotiations or a continued economic blockade. Second reason possible demands of compensation. The diplomat goes on to terrorize that the U.S. could also be staying firm because apologizing could prompt demands of compensation for individuals on the Marshall Islands who were affected by contaminated land due to American nuclear bomb testing following the war. Third, we simply don't deal in apologies, as Dartmouth College professor and author Jennifer Lynn told the Washington Post. It's just not our thing. But that doesn't go for the U.S. Uh, just for, the, but that doesn't just go for the U.S. Other countries are like that too, with two major exceptions being Japan itself, as well as Germany. Okay, so um. You can uh, watch this video and read this transcript um, if you like. But uh, basically, you know, uh, apologizing is beneath, okay, the U.S., which is uh, Babylon the Great in the scriptures. And America, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of people who don't agree, okay, with the doctrine um, say that we are, um, that we are reaching, you know, that, um, you know, whatever the case may be, but, uh, through the spirit, you could really, you could really see if the, if the Lord is with you that, um, the Bible speaks, you know, about history. Okay. And it's, and it's basically, uh, pointing the finger, um, at America. Okay. And, you know, their mentality is that, um, you know, it's either us or them, okay? The scriptures say, The pride of thy heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cl in the uh, clefts of the rock, okay? Clefts of the rock meaning, you know, cave dwellers or Caucasians, okay? It's it's strictly pointing to a, 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 a specific nation, a specific people, okay? Their pride has deceived them into thinking that it's either us or them, okay? That they don't need no apology, you know? They don't, they don't need to apologize. You know, they, they believe that the bombs ended uh, the Second World War. Okay. And that um, that decision was made, okay, to ultimately, ultimately save countless American lives. Okay. You know. Because if they had a went to a war with uh, Japan and invaded, you know, it would have been worse. Okay, but um, you know they don't want to uh, apologize because it could prompt um, demands of compensation, right? If they, 
you know, acknowledge the fact that uh, they, they did this, you know, you know, if they took, uh, uh, how do you say, like, uh, I'm sorry stance, then people would actually, you know, uh, actually demand for, you know, some type of uh, compensation, which, they're you know, they're not willing to do. Okay, showing you that, um, you know, America is, okay, um, illustrated, if you will, in the scriptures. Okay. When we come here to the book of Revelation 13 and 13, it's, it's, it reads, And he doeth great wonders. So that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Okay. This is that fire. Atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. This is that fire. Okay. That cometh down from heaven on earth in the sight of men. Okay, you know, the wicked, okay, who was Esau, Edom, you know, they have the power right now to make heaven come down on earth in the sight of men. They were given the, the ability, you see, they are ruling the earth. And the Bible is hinting at that, you know. And he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Isaiah 14 and 16. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. Okay, because the thing is, is that. America, okay, who is ultimately controlled by the elites of the House of Esau, the so-called white man is, is you know, has smote the people, okay, in wrath with the continual stroke. You know, China released an image showing the U.S. has been, uh, you know, virtually at war since its, its inception, you see. They have ruled the nations in anger, okay? But now, you know, the, the tables are turning. As you see in the news, you have nations like Russia and China, okay? Um, and Iran, who are ultimately, uh, not, to min not to forget to mention uh, North, uh, North Korea, you know, are, are openly against America. They do, not, they do not, no longer see America as a threat. Matter of fact, the uh, the Chinese, they actually had a meeting with, with America and they sat at a table and they told American ambassadors to their face that they no longer see America as a world power, as a world threat. Okay, so ultimately, as it says in the fifth verse, Yahweh Bashem Yashai hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. And who who uh, carries a, a scepter? Okay, a ruler, you know, a king. In this case, you know, a, a wicked king, okay? Like it says in the Sirach, the 10th chapter. Um, an unrighteous king, roughly paraphrasing. Um, I don't have my apocrypha. Uh, roughly paraphrasing a uh, uh, um, slot, matter of fact. Might as well just get it real quick. It escapes me. This is a Sirach. An unwise three, ten and three, an unwise king destroyed this people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. Okay, so uh, America is that unwise king that destroyeth not only his people, but the people of the earth, the nations. Okay, but, but you know, ultimately the, 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 the the uh, tables are being turned, if you will. Okay, a, a true live trading places. Okay, is is happening. America's uh, economy, uh, moral, um, you know, morale 
you know, the morals here is ultimately, um, it's, it's perverted, okay? You know, the staff, their rulership is being broken right before your eyes because the prophecies are coming to pass. And, and this is what we're telling you, that he that smote the people in a continual wrath, okay, You know, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. Okay, they're being persecuted by Yahweh, by Shem and these and these prophecies. They're being revealed and they're trying to go into hiding. They're going to try to hide from the wrath of the Lamb. And, and, and you know, ultimately, they, you know, they're going to be brought forth to justice. They are that, that vagabond upon the earth. Okay. <clears throat> but they will be brought to justice. So the Lord is, is breaking the staff of the wicked. And the scepter of the rulers, okay? All those who want to do the bidding, okay, uh, of, of America, you know? All of its, you know, military leaders and, and political figures and, and all that is being broken. Okay? And, and none hindereth. Nobody's going to stop what's what's going to befall America, okay? Because they have dealt, what, very treacherously. And I'm going to get that through the Spirit. Um... This is Isaiah 33 and 1. Woe to thee that spoilest and that was not spoiled. Okay, when you go into this word, uh, Shaddad. Strong's H, 7703. Shaddad. Shaddad. To deal violently with, despoil, devastate, to ruin, destroy, spoil. Okay, if, was, was this not violent? Okay, two bombs. I, I, I want to say they were a day apart. Okay, one, one bomb was dropped and the next day another bomb was dropped, if I'm not mistaken. So that was, that was you know, violent. Okay, the, the, the Japanese people were devastated. They were ruined. They were destroyed. Not only that, to min not, only to mention, not only that, but to mention, what does it say here? It says the, um, let's see. It says, individuals on the Marshall Islands who are affected by contaminated land due to American nuclear bomb testing. Okay. You see, so, you know, that bomb, that atomic bomb ultimately what? It contaminated the land. It also made um, the descendants... Okay, that they, 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 they were born after that that um that bombing and made them to come out deformed. Okay, and there's many books on that. There's there's much history on that. Okay, so you know, he woe to thee that spoilest, right? That dealt violently, that devastated, that ruined, and that was not spoiled. Okay, America seems to to have been virtually untouched. Okay, now some want to say that um, we'll look at Pearl Harbor. Well, Pearl Harbor was nothing in comparison to what happened in uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, right? It says, and thou was not spoiled, and thou dealest treacherously, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. And when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. And the thing is, is that America's coming to a point where um, you know, they're, they're, they can no longer fight, okay? The, the military general said that this generation is, is not prepared for war. You know, they're not built like that. This generation is, all right, it's just, it's just not up to it, you see? And, you know, when America ceases to spoil, they're going to be spoiled. They're going to be dealt violently, it says, and when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. Okay. Take up this word treacherously. Strong's H898. By Gad. By Gad. To act treacherously, deceitful, deal treacherously. And if you look, if you take an honest look at the dealings of America, they have always dealt treacherously. They have always dealt deceitfully. Okay? Not only the deceitful um, weights and measures, okay, the, the bag that is scant, I mean, the money system, the credit, you know, look into that. 
Okay, you you virtually live in a, in a world of 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 debt. Okay, you know, look, look at the uh, the inception of America. Okay, the 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 violent taking of the land of the Native Americans, the enslavement of the so-called Negroes. Uh, look at the uh, the Latinos here in 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 Babylon. Okay, which is America? They they they're called illegal immigrants, when actually America, uh, you know, was stolen from the indigenous. Okay, with the Israelites. Okay, the tribes, you know, the Northern Kingdom with you know the Gadites, you know. So, you know, this place is very treacherous. Look look at the C one nine. Okay, look at the C one nine. That 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 was a treacherous poisoning, you know, upon the people. Okay, so. You know, America is, you know, wearied in the multitude of their councils. They, you know, they get up on there and their Zoom meetings with uh, Creepy Joe and they got all these people talking and for him and, and, and you know, backing him up in his, uh, in his uh, you know, his talk about, you know, implementing, uh, you know, more microchip factories and, you know, they're, they're tired. They're, they're, they're done explaining the C-19. They're done explaining all these different things that people are starting to wake up to. You know, the C-theories that they're trying to hide. You know, the people are, 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 are questioning and they're, they're, they're done. You know, so there, there's coming a point where, um, you know, they're going to ultimately, you know, cease to spoil. You know, they, they are going to end their treacherous dealings because the you know the the wisdom of is is about done the lord is, is 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 taking back okay his power that he has lent to them okay on the left hand side you know uh, wisdom is no more in edom this place is is becoming very ignorant very base okay and it can no longer um survive off its um you know unrighteous dealings you see so This is uh, Isaiah 47. I want to come down and sit in the dust. O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt be, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. And we know that the Chaldeans were the wisest of the land in Babylon. Salak. You know, and the modern day Chaldeans would be the elites. Those persons considered the wisest in the land you see, you know, all those behind the scenes, the movers and the shakers, the so-called, you know, um, you know, the, the, those that bear the light, you know, the so-called Illuminati, you know, they're, they're ultimately going to, they're in confusion. You know, they don't, they don't know what to do. Their plans are, are going to, are, are going to, um, they're going to fail. You see, for all their treacherous and righteous dealings, the Lord is going to deal with them. They're not going to be called tender and delicate. That good old America spirit is done. There's no work. There's nothing but, you know, uh, uh, plagues upon this place. Okay. Um, you know, nobody sees a future here. You know, this place is, 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 is it's just, it's tiring. It's boring. You know, it's, it's very lame. You know, uh, the, the, the mirth is in the land is ceasing. And that's of a fact, you know, uh, prices are going up and down. People are like, what's going on? Gas is high one day. The market is high. And then the next it's not. So, you know, they're going to do something. OK, they only do this to to uh, to uh, to confuse. But those but, the, but these days are about up. OK. The virgin daughter of Babylon, right? The, 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 that future Babylon, that, 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 uh, that Babylon which are to be destroyed, as the scriptures speak, which is America. Okay. This is uh, Jeremiah 50 and 23. How was the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? You see, they are the hammer, so to speak, of the earth. What, what does a hammer do? A hammer is used to, to 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 bang nails, okay, into wood. So this is this is figuratively speaking of of that 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 um that bully that 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 bully uh that top nation that bullies the other nations. 
How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? And this is future prophecy. They are going to become a desolation. Okay, they are going to be wiped out. Okay, like they did to others, it's going to be done unto them. It's only fair. Okay, it's only fair. The Lord works in a perfect balance. It says, I have laid a snare for thee, and thou are also taken. Okay, so the Lord is 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 ultimately um, laying a trap. They are not going to escape unpunished. The scriptures say, for, for what a man soweth, that shall he reap. The Lord is not mocked. You're not going to make fun of the Heavenly Father and get, get away with enslaving people, uh, 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 you know, being the bully. Uh, uh, on the block, so to speak, and, and just ride off into the sunset, into the kingdom. Okay, it doesn't work like that for all you Christians that think that uh, these heathen are, are, are back in, you know, into the covenant and that they're going to be um, with us in the kingdom. It, it, the Lord is not unrighteous like that. I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou wast not aware. You see, because the pride of their heart had deceived them. They think that their 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 kingdom is going to go on forever. Okay, thou art found and also caught because they're they're fugitives. They have been fugitives on the earth, but they're found out and they're caught. You see, because thou hast striven against Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Everything they do, okay, is against the scriptures. They are in ultimate rebellion against the Lord. They are shaking their fist. Upon the earth to the heavens against the heavenly father. It says the Lord hath opened his armory and hath brought forth the weapons of his indignation. For this is the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. Okay. And that armory. Okay. Is speaking about ultimately. Let's see what it says here. Magazine of weapons. Figuratively God's armory. Okay, because the scriptures speak about the Lord creating the smith. Okay, let me just get that real quick. Isaiah 54 and 16, Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals and the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. So that smith, okay, like the uh, uh, um, an iron smith, if you will. They blow the coals in the fire, right? They 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 bring forth an instrument for his work. And I've created the waste to destroy. The Lord has created uh, the modern day smith, those scientists that have split atoms, okay? And ha that are bringing forth an instrument, okay? For ultimately the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. But he uses who? He used the wicked Edomites, okay? And, you know, and the wisest men, you see, to do these things. You see, so the Lord's um, has chosen, you know, their delusions. He has chosen them to be the wicked in the story, okay, in, 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 of, of life, if you will. You see, and the Lord hath opened His armory and hath brought forth the weapons of His indignation. And these weapons are, are these 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 nuclear missiles, these these weapons like the atomic bomb. The Lord created scientists to make them only for the nations of the world, okay, to, you know, go into another world, third world's war in which America will be destroyed. America's enemies and allies will shoot missiles, okay, on Babylon, which is America. It says, come against her from the utmost border, you see? It's, it says plainly, come against her from the utmost murder. This is a future prophecy. Open her storehouses, cast her up as heaps, and destroy her utterly. Let nothing of her be left. Okay? So this is this is the, the, the future prophecy of America being destroyed. Okay? You know, they don't want to apologize. You know, they, they think that it's beneath them. You know, but th their time is coming. You know, they're they're through. They're done, and they know they're done. You know, they know that these prophecies are coming to pass, and they see that the uh, the, uh, the Israelites have woken up. Okay, so this is what's going to happen unto them. Come against her. 
uh, let's see, come against her from the utmost border, open her storehouses, cast her up as heaps, and destroy her utterly. Let nothing of her be left. Slay all her bullocks. Let them go down to the slaughter. Woe unto them, for their day is come, the time of their visitation. The voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon to declare in Zion the vengeance of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, the vengeance of his temple. Okay. So the Lord is coming with the vengeance, okay? He's going to avenge the blood of the saints that was found in Babylon. Call together the archers, you see? And the archers are what? Those silos. Those silos, those nations, okay? The enemies of America. The scriptures speak of a third world's war and only fair. It doesn't does not have to be done what America did to others, okay? Def, most definitely. It says, so I keep losing my place. It says, come against her. What's a lot? Um, 29, call together the archers against Babylon. All ye that bend the bow, camp against it round about. Let none of thereof escape. Recompense her according to her work. You see? Recompense her according to her work. America has been the bully of the nations has set up um, uh, embassies all over the world and has, 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 has uh, you know, basically uh, overtook the world, has conquered the world, you see? So now it's, it's, it's her turn to be conquered, you see, the whore, Babylon. Call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow, you see, mainly... Uh, Russia, Iran, um, Ethiopia, uh, Libya, you know, and, and even uh, America's own um, allies, okay? Even America's own allies are going to turn on America, okay? You know, these little nations have, 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 have acquired nuclear weapons, okay? That's why it says here in 26, come against her from the utmost border. You see? All ye that bend the bow camp against it round about, let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her work. Okay? According to her work, recompense her. This is the work of America. So, hey, it's going to be recompensed unto her the same. So, it says... According to all that she had done, do unto her, for she had been proud against Yahweh, against the Holy One of Israel. Therefore shall her young men fall in the streets, and all her men of war shall be cut off in that day, saith Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Okay, because there's going to come a mass slaughter. Okay, yeah, the, the military, um, the U.S. military is going to be annihilated, you know. And, and, and a, a lot of Edomites, are, you know, are going to be killed. That's why the scriptures speak about um, a he that cometh from Basra. You see, behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud. Why? Right? What did they say? They, they, they will not what? And they ain't going to apologize. It's either what us or them. What did it say? So like, yeah. I'm about to wrap it up. Let me just. Find where it says. Right here. At the twenty at the twenty second mark, President Bill Clinton said no apology was needed because the bombs ended World War Two. Okay. Right here it says up above fifteen seconds to offer a formal apology. 14. Theories as to why the U.S. has refused to offer a formal apology. First, that it's either us or them mentality. You see? So America could care less about you other nations. You know? Even, even some of their own people, they care less. You know, they, they believe in the elect. You know? Just like, uh, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has his elect. Okay? So... 
31. Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud, saith the Lord, thy power of host. For thy day is come, the time that I will visit thee. And the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none shall raise him up. And I will kindle a fire in his cities, and it shall devour all round about him. Okay? Edomites are going to burn. Okay? Especially here in America. You see? So I wanted to bring this out. Um, I wanted this was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rokah Kodash, the bonus to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to all you, Akim and Yahweh, that believe in all sincerity. Shalom.